NBC Palm Springs Sports, and Shots in the Night proudly present the shootout at Indian Wells Golf Resort. Brought to you in part by Palm Desert Kitchens because an exceptional design is timeless. And by The Patio Place. Decorate your life at The Patio Place. Hi everybody, I'm Olivia Garvey alongside Mike Everett here at Indian Wells Golf Resort for an exciting event. That's right, Olivia. Today we're gonna witness a shootout. We've got 10 players who are gonna be going nine holes. Now the way that it works is, of course, the person with the highest score on each hole will be eliminated. And if there's a tie on a hole, we'll go to a tiebreaker to decide who moves on and who goes home. And to go more in depth on what's gonna happen on that golf course today is Joe Williams, the director here at Indian Wells Golf Resort. How's it going? Wonderful, it's exciting to be here today for the shootout. Today we're gonna to play the back nine of the Celebrity Golf Course. So we're gonna see nine holes of some pretty wonderful golf out there. What we're gonna see from players is an elimination of one player each hole. So what we, uh, what we were gonna do is hopefully have a lot of fun and see some uh, fun golf. Awesome, thank you, Joe. Thank you. We received a lot of entries for this contest, but the selection process was very difficult, but now it's time to meet our 10 contestants brought to you by Tutu's Tortilla Chips. Don Dallaire of Rancho Mirage is the headmaster of King's Schools and says his favorite golf course is the next one he plays. King Wilder of La Quinta is a web developer and likes to play golf because it's infuriating and he's a masochist. David Farnham of Indio is retired from the Boeing Company. He plays golf two to three times a week and shot his age of 60 in 2014. Steve Hogue of Palm Desert is a retired firefighter. He likes how golf is different every time he plays, even on the same course. Damien Jopak of Palm Springs is a science teacher and has been playing golf all over the world for 35 years. Randy Nordloff of Palm Desert is a PE teacher at Franklin Elementary School and enjoys the physical and social aspects of golf. Bob Sapelsa of Rolling Hills Estates works in school finance and says golf is the world's best game because of its outside beauty. Curtis Zylinga of India works in the engineering field and says his favorite golf ball is whatever his ball retriever brings him. Kate Spildy of Rancho Mirage is a professor at San Diego State University and enjoys the challenges the game of golf offers. Tracy East of Palm Desert is a kindergarten teacher and when school is out, has played golf every day for the past three summers. So tell me a little bit about yourself. How long have you been here in the kitchen? Moved here in 2012, September 2012, so not that long. And how do you like it so far? I love it, but I've been I've been down here many times with friends who live here in PJ West or Mission Hills, so I've played here many times. And I thought, you know, when I moved, this would probably be a good place to go. Lots of golf courses, I love warm weather, so this is probably the best place, yeah. Now, speaking of golf, um, so you love the sport. Uh, it's okay. What, yeah, right? It's okay. What's uh, what's your favorite course? Uh, around here, it would probably be Rams Hill. Okay. Down in Borrego Springs. But, you know, I haven't played all of them here. That's one of my things in my golf quest, is to play all of them in the Coachella Valley. But I've probably played more than half of them. Public and private. And how long have you been playing golf? Uh, long time, since I was 15, so uh, 35 years or so. Yeah? Do you 45 remember years. the first time you, you ever picked up a club? Yes, absolutely. I thought I was going to shoot even par. It was a little worse than that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you hit that one good shot, and you're hooked. So, you know, a friend of mine, Gave me his uh, old set of clubs with two three woods and a mixed match of clubs, mixed match set, and um, just went out in Caddy's Day back on Long Island and hit my first golf ball. And I was uh, hooked at that point. And then you're hooked, right? Uh, yeah. So out here right now, it's actually pretty nice, but have you played in like really like bad weather? Yes. Bad weather hot and bad weather cold. So I've played in tournaments also, where it's been 50 degrees and windy and rainy. And I've played in tournaments where it's been 110 
So, um, yeah, I've played in bad, bad conditions. So, you played in tournaments where the weather has kind of been working against you. Yes. Can you tell me about that mindset that you have to have going into a tournament. Um, you have to be numb in a certain way. You have to kind of take everything out of your head that of all the bad shots that you've ever hit and try to come in fresh and uh, try to, you know, get on that first tee and take the shakes out of your hands and just try to hit, hit the club face is essentially what you got to try to do. So you're always going to be nervous on that first tee and you just kind of say, I remember how to do this and then just do it. But, you know, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So with that, um, how are you going to come into this particular tournament? I'm going to stumble in. Probably going to, I don't know, my caddy, she's probably going to give me a wedge on the first tee just so I can get it in the fairway. So we'll see. I don't know. I'm going to try to come out firing, but we'll see how that goes. And last question. Uh, favorite golfer and one? Favorite golfer? Um, it would probably have to be Tiger. I mean, he's done phenomenal things. He's got the perfect golf swing. Um, just, he's set amazing records. So, yeah, probably be Tiger. So those are our 10 players. Now I'm gonna introduce you to Brian Flath, who's gonna tell you a little bit more about what's in store for them, and then we're gonna send it back to Olivia. Thank you, Mike. Uh, not only is it a beautiful day today, but uh, we have some great sponsors that have stepped up to make this event possible. Mm -hmm. And the beautiful part about it is that nobody is gonna be a loser today. There's a prize for each player on each hole that the sponsors have made possible. So uh, we're looking forward to it. Sounds like good stuff. We're gonna send it back to the one and only Olivia Garvey. Thanks, Mike, and we'll be right back to begin the shootout right here at Indian Wells Golf Resort right after this. Hi, I'm Dennis. Welcome to Palm Desert Kitchens. Dreaming of a fresh new kitchen or a stunning remodel? Since 2001, Palm Desert Kitchens has been the Coachella Valley's premier design choice. Our award-winning creations enjoy international renown. From modern to traditional, Palm Desert Kitchens offers many quality brands. For every budget, call Palm Desert Kitchens now for a free consultation. As always, an exceptional design is timeless. The Patio Place is the place for quality outdoor furniture. You'll find top brands like Tropitone, Telescope, Malin, and more at up to 35% off retail. Several of our manufacturers are even offering an additional 10% off all orders placed through December. So come into our 15,000 square foot showroom on Dinosaur Drive in Palm Desert for a great selection of furniture and accessories. From classic to contemporary, you're sure to find something to fit your taste and budget. Decorate your life at the Patio Place. Welcome back to the shootout at Indian Wells Golf Resort. Our players were assigned a number from 1 to 10, and we'll tee off in that order for as long as they remain in the competition. We've given each player a specific color so you can follow where their tee shots go. Due to time constraints, we'll be showing you the tee shots as a group for the first several holes. Let's take a look at our first hole. Our first hole is number 10 on this celebrity course. It plays 397 yards from the white tees and 314 from the reds. The bunkers on both sides of the fairway can come into play, and the tee shots down the right side will have to deal with the wash, or the tree line, or perhaps both. The approach shot plays longer than it looks. Here are the opening tee shots for the men. and our opening tee shots for the ladies. The 
that ball that you saw go way right was Davy and Jopak. This is his second from the wash. And it hits the tree and bounces straight down. Well, Damien's got a little situation here. He's got 82 yards. He's got to keep it low to get under the tree. He's got to get it up to get it over the hill. And he's got a bunker in between him and the green. So well, let's see how he does. Randy Nordloff from the center of the fairway. Just short and into the front bunker. So on our first hole, we have three players at even par, four players at one over, and three players at plus two that will head to a playoff. First to play, Don Delaire. Next up, Steve Hogue. And lastly, Randy Nordloff, he needs to get this inside of six feet to hope to move on. Well, Randy, um, you made nine other people really happy. Right I guess now. so, yeah. Somebody had to take the ball to be first, popular. and it was you. Yeah, glad to and, be popular. Uh, on behalf of NBC Palm Springs, you're either going to love us or you're going to hate us because you're going to go to lunch with Mike Everett. Awesome. Randy Nordloff getting eliminated at hole 10. Now let's move to hole 11. Our second hole is number 11 on this celebrity course and is brought to you by All of a Sudden. It plays 319 yards from the white tees and 257 from the reds. It's a tight driving hole with a small green that plays through a valley. The green slopes from back to front, making the downhill putts pretty fast. Once again, due to time constraints, here are the tee shots for the men. And for the ladies. Curtis Eilinga with driver off the tee has just a wedge left. And he pulls it a little to the left. Yeah, that's about 20 feet. He's going to have a left to right slider to deal with. Now Damien's second shot went way left. He has about 32 yards, but his ball is under a bush. He can't get a stance on it, so he could take an unplayable, but it looks like he has other ideas. Steve Hogue had some trouble from the fairway bunker, now playing his fifth shot. Now Damien with his third after that heroic left-handed shot from under the bush. Here is Kate Spilday for par. And she's gonna have some work left. Steve Hogue needs this and some help to force a playoff. Damian Jopak for his bogey.
and he will go ahead and tap that in for his six. Kate Spilday has two putts from here to avoid a playoff. And nicely done. Saves her five. Well, Steve, hey, you played great today. You made it through one hole, almost through two. Got in a little trouble there early off the tee. Yeah, it was fun anyway. Yeah, we're glad to have you here. Rick Empey of All of a Sudden is here, and uh, think of us when your food starts tasting better here. You got a pretty awesome. good prize here. Great. I think Thank you're you. going to enjoy it. Thank you. Right so here. congratulations. Thank you once again. Steve Ho getting eliminated at 11. Where are we going next, Mike? That would make it 12. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at that hole after this. Dennis, welcome to Palm Desert Kitchens. Dreaming of a fresh new kitchen or a stunning remodel? Since 2001, Palm Desert Kitchens has been the Coachella Valley's premier design choice. Our award-winning creations enjoy international renown. From modern to traditional, Palm Desert Kitchens offers many quality brands. For every budget, call Palm Desert Kitchens now for a free consultation. As always, an exceptional design is timeless. The Patio Place is the place for quality outdoor furniture. You'll find top brands like Tropitone, Telescope, Malin, and more at up to 35% off retail. Several of our manufacturers are even offering an additional 10% off all orders placed through December. So come into our 15,000 square foot showroom on Dinosaur Drive in Palm Desert for a great selection of furniture and accessories. From classic to contemporary, you're sure to find something to fit your taste and budget. Decorate your life at the Patio Place. We're back at the shootout at Indian Wells Golf Resort. And here is how we stand after two holes. Let's take a look at what's next. Our third hole is number 12 on the Celebrity Course and it is brought to you by Cornerstone Pharmacy. It plays 235 yards from the white tees and 215 from the reds. Options abound on this drivable par 4, but laying it up too aggressively can bring the deep cross bunkers into play. The green is well protected against an errant approach. Once again, due to time constraints, here are the tee shots for the men. and for the ladies. Guys, help me out here. Don King, since when is a par four a closest to the pin competition? Uh, <laughs> when it's 238 yards. Right. Yes. Shot, it's, what do you think? I just wanted to get it out there and not take a big divot right here. <laughs> Damien's second shot from the right of the car path. And it is up over the green, and he'll have to play his third from the hazard. Bob Sapelsa from the greenside bunker, his second. And that is nicely played. Curtis went with the driver again, and he's pin high to the right, but he's found himself in jail. It hits the palm tree and bounces down to the left. Curtis, unfortunately, is feeling the pressure right now. He chunked his third shot, now playing his fourth. And he still has some work left.
Damien from the hazard above the green, his third shot. Damien's chip shot went about 15 feet past the hole. He putted back to here. He has about five feet left for his double. Attaboy. All right. Damien's at six. Tracy East to avoid a playoff. <laughs> now Curtis needs this to avoid a playoff. So Don Delaire and King Wilder both made their eagle putts, and now we have a chip off between Damian Jopak and Curtis Zylinga. First to play is Damian. And now Curtis Zylinga. Well, Curtis, say hey, the trees got you there. Uh, tough break right at the end. Unfortunately, spent a lot of time close to the green. Yeah, I was a little unfortunate. Uh, I could work on my short game, um, but I'm thankful for the event. Had a lot of fun out here. Yeah. Course is in great condition. Uh, Greg Collins, Corner Stone Pharmacy, is here with a nice gift for you. Thank you. All right, Curtis, we've got a gift card for you and a sampling of products from Corner Stone Pharmacy. It was a blessing to be here today, sponsoring. Thank you, Brian and KMIR and. Uh, yeah, better luck next time. You did well. Uh, but this is the end of the road. I'm sorry, buddy. It's all right. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Your so as we say goodbye to Curtis, here's where we stand after three holes. And let's take a look at what's next. Our fourth hole is number 13 on the Celebrity Course and is brought to you by Sloan's Breakfast, Lunch, and Dinner in Indio. It plays 283 yards from the white tees and 250 from the reds. A conservative tee shot is advised here, and the right side of the fairway provides the best approach angle to a well-protected green. And due to time constraints, here are the tee shots for the men. And for the ladies. Tracy East hit a nice drive here. Here's her second with a hybrid. Kate Spilday's tee shot found the fairway bunker. She's electing not to go for it, but to play out to the side instead. Good shot. Well done. And now Kate's third shot. Not what she really wanted there. Uh, she's going to have some work left. Now, after surviving the playoff, Damien bounced back to hit a real nice drive here. His second from the fairway, which he hasn't seen many of today. I got your divot. I can't. I can't not pick it up. Yeah. Kate Spilday, her fourth. Can I get the five players that are on the green to mark? Bob Sapelsa chunked his second shot from about 100 yards out. This now is his third. And Don Delaire with a unique putting stroke. The only one of its kind in this group. Okay. 
now after surviving a playoff, hitting the fairway, knocking it to about five feet. This is Damian Jopak for birdie. A three, nice birdie. Bob Sapelsa for his par. So that'll be a tap in bogey. And now Kate needs this here to force a playoff. Catherine, you played great today. Uh, you chose to play wisely out of the bunker there, but it didn't really pay off for you. It did not pay off. I needed to make that putt. You did. It's the one you practiced for, and I didn't make it. Well, on behalf of Sloan's Family Restaurant in Indio, um, right. one of them's at a wedding today. The others are running the restaurant, and you're going to be eating really well there. I'm excited. So, I might head out right now. <laughs> congratulations, and Thank uh, thanks you. for coming out. Thanks for having me. Okay. Hole number 13, not so lucky for Catherine. Where are we going next? We're gonna be going to hole 14. Catherine Spiel Day calling it a day. Next hole coming up after the break. Hi, I'm Dennis. Welcome to Palm Desert Kitchens. Dreaming of a fresh new kitchen or a stunning remodel? Since 2001, Palm Desert Kitchens has been the Coachella Valley's premier design choice. Our award-winning creations enjoy international renown. From modern to traditional, Palm Desert Kitchens offers many quality brands. For every budget, call Palm Desert Kitchens now for a free consultation. As always, an exceptional design is timeless. The Patio Place is the place for quality outdoor furniture. You'll find top brands like Tropitone, Telescope, Malin, and more at up to 35% off retail. Several of our manufacturers are even offering an additional 10% off all orders placed through December. So come into our 15,000 square foot showroom on Dinosaur Drive in Palm Desert for a great selection of furniture and accessories. From classic to contemporary, you're sure to find something to fit your taste and budget. Decorate your life at the Patio Place. Welcome back to the shootout at Indian Wells Golf Resort. After four holes, here's where we stand. Let's take a look at what's next. Our fifth hole is number 14 on the Celebrity Course and is brought to you by Wise Guys Cooking, Sundays at 11.30 p.m. on NBC Palm Springs. The par 5 plays 494 yards from the white tees and 388 from the reds and is definitely risk reward. Precision is required to hit this green in regulation. And here are the tee shots for the men. And for the lady. Wilder, his second from the right rough. That's perfect. And that's a nice recovery shot right there. Good strategy. David Farnham, after a really nice drive, going with a fairway medal. Tracy East, her second from the left fairway bunker. Oh, nice shot. Real good. Stay right. Oh, yeah. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. Well played. Great shot. And now, after that nice layup from the rough, here's King Wilder, his third. Right. And that is nicely done. Good shot. Good shot. Thank you. Thanks. Don Delaire, his third. And that is safe. 
painfully on. Well, Damien found some trouble again. His second shot from the rough went into the fairway bunker, and from the fairway bunker, he went oh, into the water, oh, now playing his fifth shot. Not the really finish. You have options. You can play from the same place, or your point of entry over there, you can play from over there. Now Damien's got some options here, but it looks like he's choosing just to get right back on the horse. There you go. Much better. Much better. On the green. Good job. Good recovery there, Damien. Now Damien putting from the fringe for his eighth shot. Oh, let him in. Let him in. Oh! Good and try. with where everybody oh. else stands, the handwriting is pretty much on the wall at this point. Nice. That's a nine for Damien. Nice. Well, Damien, you gave us quite a show today, <laughs> and you saw a lot of this golf course. I did. I wanted to see it. First time here, I wanted to make sure I covered every inch. Okay. This is a Tony Pomponio, Frank Monteforti, Frank Wise Guys Cooking, Sundays at 11.30 p.m. on NBC Palm Springs. You've entertained us, now you're gonna be entertained. Yeah, you're gonna see these got. guys perform some Here's dinners and some shows. Here's what we got, okay. Um, dinner for two Wonderful. for Frank's place and restaurant and lounge. We're not finished. We're wait, not finished. wait, there's, there's more. more. You, you've earned yeah. it today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we guys, have so we dinner for that. two at Palm Desert Resort. Okay, here's <laughs> another dinner for two at uh, Desert Palm Resort. Outstanding. Thank Enjoy. you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Damien, we hear you're a very humorous guy. Maybe we should have you on the show sometime. <laughs> All right. Yeah, All right. right. Okay. We'll have fun. Right. And so after five holes, we say goodbye to Damien Jopak. And here's where we stand after five holes. Don Dallaire, King Wilder, David Farnham, Bob Supelsa, and Tracy East all advance. Next time on the shootout at Indian Wells Golf Resort. Five players still stand, but only four holes remain. Who will advance? And who will go home? The answer to these questions next time.